Okay, this is Scout, the new service dog, and he's going to end up helping me pull groceries and things like that. And I've seen a few videos where people train dogs by pulling chains, but instead of that, I'm going to train him by using a skateboard. Now, I'm making a good video. Stop. This dog has basically not barked, um, except for the first night or two he was here. He didn't want to be in his crate by himself. I bring this skateboard out, and he immediately starts doing it. So, this is um, why he's only uh, five, he's five months old. And he's a rescue, rescue dog. And these are some of the things that you will run into. Um, we have no idea why he's reacting like this. He could be talking to it. He could be thinking it's um, the same size as some of his siblings. It has to become a training tool. Now, it could be the motion. He doesn't like the motion. Safe. 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 No. No. Safe. 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 I think what it is, is he's confused. He doesn't know what it is. He doesn't know why it moves. And this is why you have to introduce these things right away. Um, and really find out as much as you can about the dog that you've adopted. Now, I have to add, as soon as I put it away, he stopped. And, um, you know, dogs have instinct. This dog has been unbelievable. I've had him four days. He arrived on the 15th. Today's the 19th. Um, has puppy behaviors, but is absolutely learning very quickly. Come here, Scout. Scout, come. Um... And I don't know, this is one of the things I have to explore. My other service dog, Coco Bean, wouldn't let me on my bike, didn't want me in a gliding chair. Um, and I don't know the instinct of dogs and motion and why he would react like that to a skateboard. So we're going to find that out. Um, it doesn't mean there's a problem with the dog. It means the dog is telling me something and I have to figure out what he's saying. Come here, Scout. Scout, come. Come. Come on. Now, in the meantime, um, he has an extreme... He's a scent hound. Coco was a sight hound. So we're dealing with smells. And um, he's unbelievable with smells. And all I thought I was going to use my hand spun uh, for different training tools. And I'm finding that the Kong... Um, products, <clears throat> specifically this little Kong bone, is really better for him. Um, it doesn't overexcite him like the wool does. He's part, we think, part foxhound, part beagle. He's a hunter and a scent hound. So I'm going to stick more to plastic and rubber. This is rubber. He has a nylon bone, which is a type of plastic. Um, as both rewards. With this one, what you do is you put the, um, he's got kibble coated in peanut butter in here, and he has to get it out of there to get his peanut butter treat. So, um, something like this is better than him taking, um, like th this morning, this is a sheep that 
uh, Coco used to have. This sets him off into, I've, I've killed something. And he'll, he hasn't destroyed anything, but he's, he shakes it violently. And then because there are rodents around, including squirrels, the neighborhood cats um, don't know him yet, don't realize he, he would be a danger to them. I don't want to see him shaking an animal to death. Um, so we're going to stick with plastic. And uh, actually, I should say rubber. This is the regular Kong toy. Um, and there are grades for puppy. This is a puppy bone. This is a more adult, over nine months Kong. And we're just seeing um, which do better for him. Come here. Come. 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 So it, when you get any new dog, um, but especially maybe a rescue dog where you don't uh, know their full history or even their breeding, um, I'm just going to go over here to see what he's growling at. He basically doesn't, he's not vocal at all. But this is good. This is a behavior you want to reward. Even if I don't see something, he smells something and like I said he hasn't been vocal um, so if he's saying rough rough at something I'm gonna pay attention what is it um, what we're talking about is reading the dog's behavior and you can see the vest I have on him says in training um, he does have a few um, he's young. He was, um, uh, from, he's from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, which is very rural. And then he was in a shelter for a few weeks. So, um, it's conditioning him to your own environment, but at the same time, introducing like buses, cars, traffic, all of that a little at a time. He's been doing very well. Um, in a little while I'm going to bring the skateboard back out and find out why he had that reaction. It may take a while. Crate trained himself, basically. Goes in and out of his crate, treats it as his um, <clears throat> little castle. So, um, it's extremely intriguing to read a new dog's behavior.